New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from nynews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, the Red Sox are looking horrible. The Red Sox, really, they're literally going to probably lose 80 games this season. And I say this because their bullpen absolutely sucks. It's not like last year. Okay, they had Kimbrough. They had even that guy Kelly, who you could argue is so-so. Kind of intimidated batters, looking like Clark Kent out there and on the mound with his glasses. Trust me when I tell you this, guys. When I see a team struggle that early, it's going to be a reoccurring theme all season long. Because like I said, their bullpen really sucks. These are the 2014 Red Sox all over again. They won the chip in 2013. Following season, they lost about 90 games. And look, I'm giving them 10 more wins this season. They're really going to lose close to 80 games. You could argue that the Red Sox have a great starting rotation. But David Price, he's up there in age. Sale has a Popeye arm. One arm is bigger than the other. And really, in my opinion, that was just that, that's just going to be a disaster when Sale gets up there in age and he still signs with the Boston Red Sox. Obviously, they gave him that extension. Hey, well deserved. But with that weird launch angle, he's not going to last. He's not Randy Johnson. At least Randy Johnson had freaking uh, pterodactyl arms. And really, his height alone contributed to his velocity. I don't see that. I don't see that with Sale. Maybe you get two more good years out of him. But the rest of that extension is going to be a disaster. Not even the way that the Boston Red Sox cheat by sending signals to their helmets like a walkie-talkie, some sort of Bluetooth device to steal signs, not even that could save them this season. And what's that? That's great news for the New York Yankees. All these guys are going down. Who cares? The Boston Red Sox suck this year. They're not going to repeat. The same way a team catches fire early in the season, they keep that momentum. Hey, the Red Sox are going to catch momentum by losing. Like the 2014 Red Sox. Bank on it. You could come back to this uh, video. I even predicted that the Red Sox were going to win the World Series championship last season. I called it early. And I'm going to call this early again. The Red Sox are going to be an 80 loss team this season. And again, a lot of Yankees are going down. And the Horn might have surgery. He might be out for the rest of the year. In my opinion, hey, if it was going to happen any of these seasons, it was good that it happened this season because the Red Sox are looking like they're going to have a down year. I mean, it's common sense. Their bullpen is freaking horrible, guys. They don't have a bullpen. They can't pull that. Okay, let's put Sale in there to save the game. Let's put Rodriguez in to uh, relief. They can't do that anymore because they're not going to be winning games. They did that because they were winning games. They were ahead of other teams. I just don't see that. This season, I just don't. In my opinion, it's time for the Yankees to catch fire. They could easily catch fire. I mean, those two games that they lost uh, between the Orioles, I think that was just a fluke. This team, as of now, with so many players on the injury list, is still a great team. They call it injury list. I call it disabled list. They're making up new terms to prolong somebody's injury to not make it sound that bad, but... It sounds like Andujar's injury is bad. If that's the case, tough loss for the Yankees. But like I said, the Red Sox are going to have a down year. AOEs is for the Yankees' take. That's just my honest opinion. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page.